<laughs> so Jonas and I were discussing the other day, why is it even important to protect large animals like pandas and elephants and orangutans? Besides the fact that they're really cute, I mean, does the ecosystem they live in really need them? And, and why should we care? First, let's just get really specific. Let's talk about elephants. And if we're gonna do that, we need to start with their ecosystem. Ecosystems can be thought of as a complex machine that performs functions that are vital for us. Forests and grasslands cool the planet, clean our air, and create rain clouds, right? These are important for us and for the animals in them. And now I'm hoping that at least you can agree on that. Right? Now the animals in them don't just occupy their place in the ecosystem like random actors on a stage. No, the whole ecosystem needs them as much as they need it. Probably heard people say that, right? So let me make my case for the elephant. Elephants are the largest mammals in Asia and Africa, and because of this they actually play a really unique and often irreplaceable role in their ecosystem. And because I know the Asian elephant better, let's look specifically at the Asian elephant. First, not only do a lot of these elephants dig wells to get mineral rich water, but they also leave behind a lot of footprints which can fill with water. And this helps other small animals to access the same scarce resources. At the same time, these actions create microhabitats for lots of other creatures like frogs which can lay eggs in the water. And really, a single elephant footprint can eventually turn into a miniature world full of life. Of course, elephants must eat, and they eat a lot. An elephant can eat just about any plant, even ones with thorns. It can strip the bark off a tree, which eventually might kill the tree. And at first this might sound really destructive and bad, but realize that a dead tree also makes a good home for other animals, like say, birds that like to nest in the hollows. And because of their size and strength, elephants make short work of large fruits with shells that are difficult to crack. And other animals benefit from the fruits that drop on the ground as the elephants are foraging. And finally, the plants themselves benefit because, you see, elephants are gardeners. So here's the thing, without these elephants doing their thing in the environment, a lot of these other animals would not survive. Who are we to decide which animals should be in the ecosystem and which ones shouldn't? So take out the elephant and you lose just a lot of individual species, smaller species that depend on these elephants for the changes. More so than you might if you took out just hypothetically one small animal. And if we take it one step further, if we're actually comparing a native ecosystem to one that's either bulldozed for development, either urban or rural, you know, say it's farming, then you're losing a lot of ecosystem services as well. The clean water that we drink and the air that we breathe are tied to that functioning ecosystem. So in the end, we all depend on those ecosystems to be healthy and vital. And getting back to the elephants, the native ecosystems where elephants are found depend on the elephant. So it's all kind of a cycle, right? I don't know if I made my case for the elephant. I think the elephant's just a really easy one. I don't know, what are your thoughts? Do you have any other reasons why we need to keep these big predators, big elephants, big herbivores, big animals in our ecosystem? All right, comments below. Hey, thanks for watching this video. It was actually a little bit of a collaboration between myself and the great Sherman De Silva over at Trunks and Leaves. Elephants and their habitats are worth protecting, but first you have to understand why they're important. If you're an elephant enthusiast, I encourage you to come over to our website and learn more. Also, we're including links in the description so you can download this video and translate it into your own language. We're going to be making more videos with Untamed Science, so subscribe to their channel if you want to see more of these. Thanks! And Jonas, I think I made my point pretty clear. We need the elephants. Um, you've got to convince me that we need the pandas, though, so I'm going to wait for, for you to do that video. Okay, we'll see you guys next time.